Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is September 14, 2021. I want to talk about top electric vehicle stocks. I've got a few images for you here. we got Neo, Chinese Tesla, a great car company. Uh, I think they're doing a good job. And then we got your little known company called Arkimoto, ticket symbol FUV. These guys are doing great with the uh, three-wheeler type vehicles. And last but not least, we got XPAV, again, a China-based company, again, doing very well. So with that, we'll look at these companies in a little more detail and see how we can take advantage of this uh, emerging trend of electric vehicles. As we all know, fossil fuel is uh, gone and electric vehicle is the way to go. So with that, let's jump in, get started here. So from a top news perspective, we got your top electric cars of the year from Investopedia. We got Tesla, Workhorse, uh, Fu or Arkimoto, Solo, uh, BLNK, XPEV, Candy, Lee, and Neo. You know, some of these stocks may be a little bit low at this time. Let's see if it's a good time to buy. And then we got Ford here. Ford is a great uh, company, um, and now they are electrifying their fleet. That's a very good story. We'll see if Ford is ripe for investing right here. And then we have a you know issue right now with the tax bill. Looks like Tesla did not like the tax bill. Um, and also Toyota may not be liking it because um, this proposal uh, will help the union-made cars and U.S.-built cars. So there is some discussion going on. Let's see what will happen as it goes for a vote. I think it's today. And then we got here um, Arrival. Looks like Arrival is burning a lot of cash. According to this article here, that may not be a big issue. And then we got one of my favorite stock, Green Power. Used to do very well in the past. Looks like they announced first delivery of all electric beast school bus. You know, that could be a good story for Green Power. We'll look at Green Power also. And then we got here Excel Fleet. Looks like they're electrifying Ram 2500 and 3500 pickup trucks. That could be good news for uh, Excel fleet here. And we have here three EV stocks down more than 40%. We got Workhorse, Ride, and Go EV. We'll see if these are good to pick up here and take it from there. And last but not least, we got uh, Nicola here. Uh, this article wonders whether it's buy or sell. We'll also look at Nicola in a little more detail and see if it's good to buy at these levels here. So with that, let's jump in and go. So as you can see here, I got a chart here of top electric vehicle stocks. And this is uh, sorted by one year performance. As you can see here, stock at the top, little more known company called VEV, $4 stock. Very low market cap, 137 million, has done great in uh, one year and also done great in five years. So let's see if it's good to buy this stock here. As you scan through here, uh, looks like sales growth is accelerating nicely. That's a good story. They also have a gross margin positive. Net margin is zero right now. And they do have no debt, as you can see here, low RSI. Stock has been falling off of late, as you can see here. And IV percentile is 50, middle of the mark. Even, uh, you know, if you want to do some put selling or premium selling, you could do it. But stock price being $4.58, I would rather buy this stock outright here. And as you scan through, there is no short ratio. Um, and I think right now it's trying to turn around. As you can see here, this is when you catch the stocks, when they turn, when they start turning around. I would think, you know, VEV is a good stock right now to buy with this turnaround, given solid sales and okay gross margin. And then you got FUV or Kimoto. I think this is a great stock again, $12 stock, around $500 million market cap, Nice sales growth. I love the sales growth here. <clears throat> and gross margin and net margin negative, which is understandable because uh, they're investing in their own product development at these levels. <clears throat> and they also have nice uh, low um, you know, debt here. That's a good news here. 
and RSI is 42 tells you stock is oversold here. Valuation perspective, little pricey as you can see here, 100 plus. And stock has been uh, dropping off off late, trying to show a turnaround here. This is when we buy a stock like FUV when they're trying to turn around. And this stock used to have a high short ratio a while ago. I think now that it's a short covering, now that it's a short ratio is uh, not there. And then you got here Neo Chinese Tesla. I've highlighted this uh, in green mainly because this uh, satisfies rule of 40 gross margin plus uh, quarter over quarter sales growth handily beats 40. Uh, that's why the rows in um, green background, uh, that's where we have rule of 40 satisfied strong fundamental companies. And this one also has a negative net margin here. And as you can see a low debt, low RSI stock has been sold off of late. Anytime new is below 40, I'm a buyer. As you scan through here, stock has been uh, turning around in one day and even 10 day. I think this could be a turnaround story. We can slowly start buying new at these levels. Next one is really um, India, uh, you know, Tata Motors based in India, $20 stock, RSI is 55, a little high for me. And they also have a little bit higher debt on their balance sheet. And as you scan through here, stock has been recovering off late. I would probably wait for a little pullback or even if you want to buy a little bit here, that could be okay too. And then you got your STLA and Tesla. Um, as you scan through here, STLA, RSI is 42. Um, and I think they're okay from a one year sales. Um, there's no insider buys and sells. It's okay to buy slowly, you know, at here, given RSI is 42. Um, and I think it's uh, doing okay in a one year basis. And then you got Tesla here. Uh, looks like insiders are selling a little bit, which is not a big deal here. Nice uh, sales growth here. Um, and also nice uh, gross margin here. Um, this also, I think, beats uh, rule of 40 here. And as you scan through here, RSI is 58, a little bit high for me. I would rather wait for a little pullback here and then buy Tesla. And we got a couple more here, XPAV, it's a China based company, XPANG. Um, and as you can see here, nice institution buy. So I think this is a good one to buy along with the institutions. You know, given there is a nice sales growth here in one year, and also as you can scan through here, RSI is low, stock has been uh, dropping off of late. I would be a buyer of XPAV at these levels. Um, and also I like uh, Ford here, Volkswagen also a good one. As you can see here, um, both Ford and Volkswagen have got uh, low RSI um, and also they have a little bit high um, you know, uh, debt on their balance sheet, especially Ford has got a little more uh, debt on the balance sheet. It may be okay for uh, these type of traditional auto manufacturers trying to electrify. So with that, I would be a buyer of uh, you know, a, a Ford, which is a low dollar stock here and also Volkswagen given both are sold off here. And then you got here Lee and GM. As you can see here, Lee has got a high institution buy here. I would be a buyer of Lee along with these institutions here. As you scan through with Lee, there is also a high short ratio. So there is a chance that Lee can go, go higher and create a short squeeze on any good news here. And, and we got GM here. Uh, low RSI 43 good to buy at these levels As you scan through here, we got a couple more. Uh, we got uh, new I like new it's a China based electric scooter company and right now RSI is 55 I would wait a little bit for a little more pullback here um, You know new gives very good opportunities around the quarter quarterly release I would wait for a little pullback and new buy new and we've got a couple more here uh, uh, Toyota, um, AYRO, and Solo. I like Solo also here. Uh, as you can see here, a short ratio is 18% for Solo. Uh, this can cause short squeeze here. And we got Ferrari here. Right now, RSI a little high. So, you know, just scan through this a little bit and look at the stocks with the in in institution buys here, like uh, XPAV. Uh, Lee here and also new and 
Honda is also there is a good uh, um, institution buying here and look at the RSI um, you have to focus on low RSI candidates trying to recover in a shorter time frame like five one day five day look at the candidates here with the one day re rebound and also five day rebound and look for rule of 40 where quarter over quarter sales growth plus gross margin greater than 40 those will be your great candidates so with that you know this is a quick uh, recap of the top electric vehicles uh, page one and then you got a couple more here these are negative from a one-year performance perspective stocks have stocks have been uh, going through a little tough time as you can see here so as you scan through this quickly even though stocks are down here there are um, you know good positive news here with elms ptra there is a good institution buy at these levels institutions are jumping in and seeing some value and same story with arrival here and uh, go ev nice um, you know institution buy here and ride and nicola same story and as you scan through here these also have got short sellers breathing down their necks with the high short ratio for example lucid here 21 percent candy 18 percent and fisker uh, go ev all have got high uh, short ratio I would uh, take advantage of this high short ratio and buy some good candidates as an example green power solid um, fundamentals satisfies rule of 40 here same story with candy um, and also i think we could look at other stocks also here i think you know these are good ones especially especially with the high short ratio as you scan through here many of these have shown uh, you know turn around in um, near term like one day five day i would pick up some of these turnaround candidates here and take it from there next we'll uh, look at uh, top vehicle battery stocks a little bit here as you all know uh, electric vehicle battery stocks are really great way to invest in a pick and shovel to play here and top of the list we got blink uh, blink is again a great stock institutions are buying blink as you can see here um, and as you scan through positive sales growth here satisfies uh, rule of 40 handily and blink also has got a high short ratio this can create a short squeeze on any, on any good news i'm a buyer of blink at these levels and i think then we got cbat here cbat very low dollar stock two dollar 89 cents nice sales growth this also um, satisfies rule of 40 fundamentally good as you scan through here uh, it's trying to turn around in near term there's a short ratio of six percent i think this is also a good one to buy slowly given very low do low dollar stock then you got lithium here again uh, lithium is a material for battery as we all know right now rsi is a little high i'll wait a little bit let it cool down it's uh, trying to um, come down a little bit here i would wait for a little pullback and then buy lac you know lac stock always gives you opportunity it jumps up and down time to buy is when they're down and then you got your beam and plug both are good here beam there is a high institution buying here and as you scan through here um they good they do have good sales gross margin is negative right now and high short ratio i think this is a good one here uh, given low rsi high short ratio and institutions uh, um, uh, we're in the plug here um, you know in the plug as you can see here i think it's a good one with the high short ratio you could uh, buy a little bit and even beam for that matter high short ratio institution buying and uh, low rsi i would buy some beam at this level i think it's a good one and as you scan through here we've got a couple more here i've highlighted a few stocks for you like itgr flux ens watt charge point and so on so forth mainly because all of these have got low rsi as you can see here and in many cases like flux charge point uose and romeo you know institutions are buying big time that's a good story here and many of these are turning around in one day that's why it's uh, good to look at some of these turnaround stories and invest slowly here 
And if you're an options seller or an options uh, trader, look at the IV percentile here. High IV percentile means you can make some money selling options and low IV percentile means you can buy long-term call options and uh, make money that way. Uh, with, with that, let's uh, now dive into uh, charts for NEO, FUV and XPAV and see if it's worth buying. We'll jump into uh, Thinkorswim for TD Ameritrade to look at a few charts here. Starting with the NEO, Chinese Tesla. Let's uh, quickly look at NEO here. Let's look at one chart here quickly. I'll go to a big uh, one year chart of NEO. So as you can see here, you know, stock is doing pretty okay. Um, you know, right now it's in a trading range as you can see here. Um, let me make it a little bit bigger here. So as you can see here, stock is trying to search for direction here. On the balance volume is pretty steady right now, which is uh, good. And as you can scan through your RSI is low. Now this is when I typically buy when the RSI is low. That tells you at this time uh, there are, um, you know, uh, basically it's a little bit um, oversold at these levels. So time to buy is when the stock is oversold. Typically RSI below uh, 50, if it is below 40, it's even better. So with that, you know, I would buy, you know, at these levels. It's time to sell this when RSI hits the top right here, as you can see here. Um, then we got here DMI. So DMI is one of the favorite indicators I use all the time. You know, whenever we have, we have blue line or over red line, there's a bullish sign. But right now, red line is on top of blue line. That's a bearish sign. Typically, I like to buy stocks when it's, uh, you know, bearish like this with a proven historical view of things turning around. Look at, you know, before here, stock came down um, and red line on top of blue line. Situation improved turn around, great run. So here, nothing different here. Right now, it's a little bit weak with red line on top of blue line. It will turn around, you know, in a month or two. That's why I'm accumulating at these levels and uh, waiting for a good turnaround. Implied wall perspective, low implied wall. So if you want to sell some put options, IV rank is low. Uh, I mean, if you want to buy some, um, you know, if you want to, buy some call option it's a good time because our percentile is low you could buy some long-term call options in uh, neo and check-in money flow is indicating smart money is uh, pouring into the stock here that's why there is an uptick here so with that from a chart perspective uh, neo is a go we could uh, buy some neo at these levels and take it from there Next, I will also look at one more chart very quickly. Here's the TTM squeeze chart. So scan through very quickly here. As you can see here, we got a squeeze uh, forming in one day chart here, one day, one year. That tells you stock is uh, showing some uh, tight compression of volatility. And as you scan through here, we got A wave here, shorter term. A wave is uh, above zero. That tells you uh, from an A wave perspective, we are good. And C wave is uh, longer term, C wave is barely about zero. That tells you it's a good time to buy some NEO here and uh, it can cause a short, it, it can go up. As you see here, in the past we got NEO here, uh, trying to, you know, as you see here, we, I think here we got a red dot here. And when the red dot happened, we got uh, A wave above zero, C wave trying to curve back above zero. And as you can see here, we got a little bit downturn, then it went up nicely. So I think that's where we can buy slowly here. Here it's a little more positive given uh, A wave is above zero and C wave is also barely above zero. We are trying to turn around here, something like situation over here. So I think it's a good one to buy here. And there is no other um, um, dots in other charts here, which is good. Now let's look at uh, one more. So we'll go to, um, let's see here, um, FUV. So let's go to a uh, bigger chart here and look at FUV. So as you scan through FUV here, uh, it's also um, similar pattern here, stock dropped off big time here, trying to gain some, um, form some base at these levels here. 
and on the balance volume study that tells you there are more buyers than sellers it's always good to see on the balance volume either going up or staying steady at a higher level and as you can scan through your RSI it low tells you stock is oversold here you can uh, buy some stock at this level and DMI perspective again it's negative um, uh, red line above blue line that tells you right now it's a bearish and IV percentile is 21 which is low IV rank is low so you can buy some long-term call options if you want and then you got your check in money flow indicating it may be turning around slowly I see some small tick up even though it's a little early to say so with the chart is ugly for FUB this stock show you know shows it can bounce up and down nicely I would be a buyer of FUV at these levels and now let's uh, look through and see uh, anything in the squeeze chart here from um, John Carter as you scan through there is nothing here um, generally uh, looks like on longer term um, C wave is about zero here which, which is uh, a little bit bullish bullish sign here but there is no squeeze in the chart which is uh, which is okay next we'll look at uh, one more stock here which is the XPAV um, and take it from there so XPAV as you can see a similar, similar pattern here I mean you, you might have noticed it stock is kind of in a trading range for a while now on the balance volume is steady this is when all these big institutions they're buying slowly and accumulating and be ready for uh, next uptick here and as you scan through here RSI uh, indicates stock is oversold here you know good to buy when the stock is oversold look here we got stock oversold here then it jumped up nicely um, I think a little bit oversold went up I think this shows you know this stock can go up nicely um, I think it's good to buy when the stock is oversold and it's this one is barely um, um, bearish I think we have a crossover from the blue to red here distance between, between the blue and red is uh, very very small this can turn into positive any time and then you got here vo volatility perspective IV rank is low you could buy some long-term call option or you could buy stock outright here check-in money flow is pretty steady it's um, you know right now it's uh, pretty flat here so with that you now I would buy some uh, XPAV at these levels and now let's look at uh, squeeze chart and see if we see anything from a TTM uh, trend perspective from a TTM trend perspective we got uh, red dots forming tight compression of volatility I love it when volatility is low and we got a you know red dot here that tells you it's very tight compression of volatility and wall is low um, that's when you buy because you when you buy a stock or a call option for that matter it's good to buy when the volatility volatility is low stock is also a little bit lower and oversold that will give you a very good bank for the buck so we don't want to buy when stock is overbought we want to buy when the stock is oversold and volatility is low as you see here um, right now short term A wave is negative but longer term C wave is positive that's a good sign according to this indicator this is when you buy uh, a stock or a call option here and we also have a um, squeeze forming in a, a three day chart here and as you can scan through here longer term C wave is positive it's a sign to buy the stock uh, it might go up and no more squeeze uh, in, in weekly or monthly so with that I would buy XPEV here uh, the stock can go up from these levels so with that let's go back here and you know if you could look at some of these stocks and see if it makes sense for you look here high short ratio so this can create some nice short squeeze type situations and look for fundamentals as usual um, rule of 40 with that you could buy some of these stocks here like blink as an example um, you know look for stocks with low RSI um, and some positive institutions buying here um, and high short ratio and nice fundamentals that's the recipe for success here so with that uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe